Hi, Peter. In this video, I'm going to talk about your off-season acquisitions, Otani, my four areas, and safety at Petco Park. I'm your favorite Padres fan. I know it, Peter. I'm Stephen Bruce. You've, you've probably heard me on the radio on the John Cotero show in the past, possibly the Ted Leitner shows. I was on the Larry King show for about 140 times talking about Padres baseball when the great Larry King had a uh, show called Open Phone America. No screening whatsoever. I would call in and talk about the Padres, Tony Gwynn. Larry King and I had a great time talking about Tony Gwynn. And um, Larry would love to talk about his Baltimore Orioles. And I talked about the Padres. It was Open Phone America back in the late 70s and 1980s. You might have heard me on the Larry King Show. Anyways, so I want to talk about your off-season acquisitions. You've done a phenomenal job, Peter. You've done everything you can so far. You've probably got some more tricks up your sleeve. <laughs> with the great off-season acquisitions. And with this added talent you have brought into the ball club, I assert the Padres will win nine more games this year as compared to last year. So this year, they would finish up with 98 wins during the regular season because of your incredible acquisitions. Now I'm going to go to Otani. Now, if you can get Otani... <laughs> I feel that would improve the Padres' season by eight games a year and get them more prepared to win a World Series. If you get Otani, that's it. You're, you're everything. <laughs> um, so, now I want to talk about my four areas of improvement for the Padres regarding game time fundamentals. If you accept those four areas, and implement them, the Padres will improve by 11 games throughout a 162 game season and be ready to win playoff games because they'll be prepared to win playoff games with these game time fundamentals supplementing the great talent that you have brought in here. You see, Peter, to win a sports championship, you have to have talent and game time fundamentals need to be in place. Remember when we went to the World Series a, a quarter of a century ago, the two World Series we played and we had the great Tony Gwynn, great ball player. You probably saw recently, what does Tony Gwynn have in common with Ty Cobb and Honus Wagner? They have the most batting titles of all time. Ty Cobb, 12 batting titles. Tony Gwynn, eight batting titles. Honus Wagner, eight batting titles. We went to the World Series with a great player on our team. We didn't have all the supporting cast to win the World Series. Uh, I don't feel there's any great players on this team right now. I feel that Juan Soto can be a great player. Uh, but I don't feel there's any great players. You have a lot of really good players that can take you a long ways throughout the season. And you and I, I'm sure, you and I both want a title, a World Series championship. So I hope you listen to me on the four areas. Pay me what you want. Just pay me something, and I'll give it to you, okay? Now, finally, I want to talk about kind of a serious issue, uh, safety at Petco Park. And I don't know if you've addressed this or not. I want you to be cognizant of safety at Petco Park with the high-rise buildings that overlook Petco Park. Last year, I was watching, I watched every game last year, 99% uh, of the games, and Don Orsello and Mud Grant, uh, Mark Grant, they were communicating with somebody in one of those towers surrounding Petco Park. It was like two or three games in a row. The guy in the tower would have a sign, he would write out signs and show it and the cameras would be on it. Don Arcello would talk about it. Then the guy would come up with another sign 
and this is a, a gentleman overlooking Petco Park. Okay? Now, I know this is a serious subject, and I have some thoughts on it, how to protect the fans better at Pet Petco Park, but we do know what happened in Las Vegas about four years, five years ago. Five years ago, around there, where one man from a, a tower overlooking a group of people attending a concert in 10 minutes with assault rifles killed over 50 innocent human beings in 10 minutes. That's my concern about Petco Park and the safety of Petco Park with those, all those high-rise buildings around it. And I do have some ideas on how to make Petco Park safer. And uh, so those are my areas I want to talk to you about. I talked to you about in this video. I hope you're doing well, Peter. And I hope we get to talk real soon. And God bless you. Love you, man, for what you're doing for the Padres. Again, this is Steve Bruce signing off today.